Hello and welcome back to Dentures vs. Food, where I try to teach you how to eat with or without your dentures. I have a little demonstration today that I think is uh, going to help a lot of people. So I've, a lot of people have commented on both my channels now that they just can't seem to eat apples. And <laughs> I was at Walmart the other day and I found these. Look at how small these are little tiny gala apples called rocket apples or mini miniature apples. Now these are very cool because with a full size apple we have a tendency to really open our mouth to try to take a big bite. With these you can't do that. You have to take a small bite and I think these little bitty apples would really benefit a lot of people in teaching them how to eat apples. So I never thought about it before, but radishes will do the same thing. If you can get some large radishes, if you like radish, but I personally like apples. So with these, you have to take a small bite. My bottom denture came up. You don't have a choice but to take a small bite. Every once in a while, the skin of an apple will get up beside my denture and just gets glued there. <laughs> and that's okay. Now these are, to me, about the same density as a radish. Very crisp, very dense little apples. And as you can see, I'm not opening my mouth very far and I'm not trying to bite with the bottom teeth. I'm trying to bite with the top teeth, but I'm using the bottom teeth to stabilize the apple to stabilize the bottom teeth. Pushing on the bottom. And just biting in with the top. I'm trying to do this somewhat sideways so you can see. Push on the bottom. And then Bite through with the top. If you get used to taking small bites on little apples like this, just the fact that you're taking small bites will benefit you when it comes to eating a full-sized apple. Or, you can just buy these apples and eat them. I really like them. I've never seen them before, but apparently they've been around since 2010. They are a perfect little snack. And a great training device. Getting smaller foods like that to train ourselves to take smaller bites. Is uh, really cool. Now understand something, not everybody's going to be able to eat an apple. 
Just like not everybody can be an artist, not everybody can play a guitar, not everybody can play a trumpet, not everybody can drive a car, not everybody can ride a motorbike. The simple fact is some things some people just can't do. That's not being harsh, that's being real. But I believe that a number of you could benefit from buying these little tiny apples and practicing eating. Look how small that bite is. <coughs> I hope that, <coughs> sorry about that. I hope that gives you an idea of how small a bite that is. Okay. I do the same thing with a full-sized apple. I forgot to show you. Nothing in the bottom denture. and only denture fit in the top denture. Okay. Again, somebody asked me, why do I always show that I'm not using adhesive and that I'm only using denture fit in the top denture? And it's because I believe that there's too many people out there demonstrating what they can do with their dentures, but they're not showing if they have implants, if they have adhesive in their denture, if they have a reline in their denture of some sort that helps them be able to do what they're doing. I've seen a couple videos where earlier on, like two years ago, they were showing their implants. Now they're doing videos showing all this stuff they can eat with their dentures, which gives people like me that don't have implants, that just wear dentures, the false impression that I should be able to do what they're doing. So it gives people false hope because they're not saying, yes, I have a stabilized, my dentures are stabilized with implants, so I can eat this, that, and the other. They're just going, look what I can eat with my dentures. Making people assume that they have removable dentures like you and I do. So I believe in being honest and straightforward with you. And yes, you saw my video where I, my video call that I, the video that I said, am I a fraud? And I showed the denture fit in my denture. Yes, it's a very thin layer of denture fit. And I've said it before, I don't need it for the suction on my denture. I get great suction without it. I need it for that tiniest little thinnest bit of cushion that it gives me so that I can eat comfortably and so that I can function comfortably throughout the day and keep my denture in my mouth for 16 hours at a time without my gums hurting or giving me a headache. But it does aid in the suction of the denture slightly. So I want people to be aware of that. And this time I did a mid-roll partway through the video, took my teeth out, showed you, put them back in, and continued eating. See if you can find these. I'll throw a picture up here so you know what the little box of apples looks like. I got these at Walmart. They're absolutely delicious. They were not in the regular produce section. They were on an end cap. 
with some other boxed fruits. So you may have to look around for them quite a bit. And it's possible that your Walmart doesn't carry them. I hope you can find them. I hope you can practice with them. I hope that you will eventually be able to eat the way I'm eating. The majority of you. I know not everybody can. It depends on the shape of your denture and the fit of your denture and whether you have tall or short walls and your determination. So there's a lot of factors that are involved, but this will give you a starting point. And if you're really wanting to be able to eat apples like a normal, normal, like somebody with normal teeth, natural teeth, this is a good place to start right here. These little tiny rocket apples. All right, that's it for today, my friends. Um, I will see you in my next video.